Hey guys, Chad here from Take It or Leave It, here with another quick movie review for you for a little film called Divinity. Here's the synopsis. This film centers on two mysterious brothers who abduct a mogul during his quest for immortality. Meanwhile, a seductive woman helps them launch a journey of self-discovery. All right, so let's jump into the pros and the cons, starting with the pros. First and foremost, the style. The style of this film is so cool. If you've seen the trailer and you're looking at the trailer right now, style is is almost everything, right? I mean, I love these kind of throwback, retro, midnight movie, cult potential following kind of films. And this film definitely doesn't disappoint in that department and the style is everything I wanted it to be for the most part. I'll get into that a little bit more in the cons. And I definitely appreciated some of the world building that was going on in this film. It painted a really interesting picture of a dystopian future where everyone's focused on their body and immortality and we see how this new mindset has infiltrated all of society and how society has changed accordingly. I also got the sense going into the film that the plot might be very hard to follow and very meandering, but actually I thought it was fairly simple and stayed in the pocket for the most part, so that definitely wasn't a con for me. And I don't know how much CGI was actually used in this film, but there appeared to be a lot of practical effects, and I can't believe I'm saying it, in 2023 there's an actual stop motion motion scene that was super cool. We need to see more of that. We can never lose stop motion ever. And now moving on to the cons. As I mentioned earlier, I really did appreciate the style of the film. However, I'll be honest, I don't really have a better way of saying it other than I wish this film got even weirder. Sometimes it felt like the director was really pressing down the accelerator and other times it felt like he just took his foot off the pedal entirely from a style perspective. Here, let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. Let's take the film beyond the black rainbow. Here's a sequence from that film that's about as unstylized as it gets relative to the rest of the film, which gets particularly weird and trippy at times. Have you had uh, any headaches? Can you tell me? Readings are relatively unstable. See how that still felt stylized? Beyond the Black Rainbow, I'm immersed in that film's weirdness for the entire film, and it beautifully flows from scene to scene. And I think that's something that I struggle with, is I just didn't feel engulfed in divinity, weirdness, and style. It was on and off depending on the scene, and that just kind of took me out of the movie a little bit. And this is definitely a world in which I don't want to be taken out of it at all. And part of the reason why I don't think I felt like I was immersed in this film's weirdness and style is the soundtrack and the score isn't very memorable to me. And that's very surprising for a film like this. And I think that's one thing that Beyond the Black Rainbow had going for it is that synthy score that really helped transition things smoothly and very flowy. Whereas I don't think this movie had that as much. This film definitely has elements of, as I mentioned, Beyond the Black Rainbow, A Field in England, Southland Tales, and there's one or two more they literally just escaped me, but I'll I'll include them in the video. And while the cons that I mentioned definitely restricted this film from being as good as I was hoping it would be, I do think that this is still a very good film. It's definitely worth seeing, especially if you like this kind of thing. Definitely give it a chance, and I'm gonna give Divinity a 6 out of 10. But those are just my thoughts, take it or leave it. What do you guys think? Have you heard of this film? Does it look like something you'd be interested in? Let me know what you think down in the comments section. Let's talk about it. And as usual, guys, thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I really, really appreciate it. Don't be afraid to hit that like and subscribe button. And until next time, I'm Chad from Take It or Leave It, and I'll check you later. Check you later. Check you later. <laughs> hey, man, you off my case. Oh, man. I just don't want to hear that shit.